I can't believe I'm finally showing you this. <laughs> Boom and grow YouTube show. Plan friends, as a lot of you guys know, Billy and I gave up our apartment in July and moved out of the city. Now we're moving again, but I wanted to show you the restorative space, my planty nook that I've made in our current housing. The issue is it's been so hard to get on camera because there's so much light set up. So I have a Soltech Solutions light, both of my uh, bookshelf lighting in and I've got this huge window behind me so it's been really hard for me to film myself here because I'm always so blown out but shout out I talked with my video editor Chelsea and she kind of walked me through how I could set myself up to show you guys this little restorative space that I've grown to love so very much. This week on Blooming Girl Radio podcast, we had an amazing conversation with the teacher of my introduction to horticultural therapy class that I took online with the New York Botanical Garden. And my biggest takeaway from that class is how important plants are for humans. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. Um, but man, there are a lot of really powerful and in interesting studies that are really showing the plant person connection and how plants can really help in the attention restoration theory, help mental fatigue, lower your blood pressure, uh, increase happiness, decrease anxiety. I mean, all this stuff is starting to get proven and it's really cool. So something that was really interesting to me was this concept of restorative environments, um, which has been studied and um, these scientists, the Kaplans, have published a lot of studies on them. And so I wanted to show you my restorative space that I've created with all my plants and kind of walk you through why I think it's restorative. And I want to know about your planty restorative places in your homes in the comments. Please tell me what your setups are. So before we dive in and zoom into the actual setup and breakdown of the um, rest of, of my little nook and all the plants, I want to break down this study that I read about the actual components of a restorative environment. And this is by, it's from a study by Stephen Kaplan, and Kaplan really pioneered this whole like restorative environment kind of um, theory. So there's four components, being away, fascination, extent, and compatibility. So when you get all four of those things going, you're going to be set up the, for the most success to actually have a restorative experience in them. So being away, if you see, this is a corner of the apartment. It's isolated. It's actually kind of separate from the rest of the room. Um, and it's filled with plants. So I do, when I sit in this really cute blue velvet chair, um, I really do feel like I'm away from the hustle and bustle of everything else going on in my life. And I try my best to not have screens with me here. <laughs> Sometimes I'll take a break with my phone here, but I really like to read here. I like to journal um, and I try to keep it a free a screen free zone that helps me feel away as well the next thing is fascination so there's soft and hard fascination um, soft fascination is what is actually restorative it doesn't deplete your attention and it's the concept of like watching the clouds go by or if you're walking and you see a butterfly and you like immediately are kind of drawn to it and and you can watch the butterfly fly away, but it's not difficult and it doesn't require a lot of focus. So the thing that I love about all these plants in this corner is when I'm sitting, I can literally just sit and I can just look at the color of this leaf and I can um, notice how dusty it is <laughs> and how I need to wash it. I can look at the patterns of my leaves. I can look at how the light filters through Limey's leaves from the Soltech light. Um, I can just let myself have this fascina soft fascination wash over me as I'm enjoying the plants and that's really important for the restorative experience. Then there's extent and extent can kind of mean something different for everyone but it's the extent of like the amount of plants in your space or the amount of kind of nature you're getting kind of it's hard to explain but um, I just have crammed as many plants into this space as humanly possible so I personally feel like it's enough for me but even there have been studies that have shown like having a small terrarium is still enough extent if you can kind of go into that terrarium and like let your mind kind of wash over the little world that is created in that terrarium and then compatibility I like plants. This is a very compatible space for me. It's that simple. <laughs> so um, why don't we come take a closer look? Okay, 
So now you can see kind of like the full scope of this corner and what my experience is, is being surrounded by plants, but I did have to turn off all the lights. <laughs> so just so we know, normally I have girl lights right here, right here, and right there, but I turned them off for the sake of this video. So, um, this is my cozy corner. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with it. You really do feel like you're encompassed in this jungle it's it's a really cool feeling everywhere i look i have some beautiful plant to look at um also my favorite thing for my walk through when i walk in the woods but also my favorite part of here is since i have so many plants above my head and then i have a grow light above that i love looking up through the leaves at the grow light for some reason it just feels so good to my eyes and to my soul to look up and see leaves that are backlit from the sun or from a light. So that's like one fun thing I like to do. Um, but when I'm sitting here, it's just like a really nice time for me to just check in with myself. Sometimes I read a magazine, read a book, journal, do whatever I want, prep for an interview for the podcast. Um, but this has just been my really cozy nook. So I wanted to show you some of the plants and the setup. Um, so to my right, I have the grow shelf that you've probably seen from my old apartment. Um, basically, this is actually a different bookshelf, so I had to reinstall it, but I installed the Modern Sprout Grow Bars in two of the shelves, and I've got all my favorite plants in them. The thing that I love about my plant collection is it's a lot of cuttings that have been gifted to me by friends or listeners that have grown into these larger plants. So like this Monstera Peru, which, whoa, I didn't even notice that new growth. Um, this used to be one leaf that was given to me by Nick Pileggi, my friend, and now it's this like really cool, epic plant. Um, I have a philodendron mycans in there that was gifted to me by a listener in Tucson that has grown. Um, this I got at a Summer Rain Oaks, this Copper Spoon Kalanchoe I got at a Summer Rain Oaks um, plant swap. What else is here? Begonia that was sent to me. Um, my Oxalis that won't freaking stop blooming. It's so happy in this bookshelf. Um, the Cebu Blue that was given to me by a listener. Uh, oh, my Begonia Ruby Red. You saw me do an unboxing of that. I ordered that. Um, but yeah, they're just like a lot of all my plants and so many of them are cuttings from friends. It's just they they bring me so much joy because I don't I don't just get to experience that plant, but I get to remember why and how I got it and um, revel in kind of how it's grown. And I think as you get older as a plant parent, um, you start to enjoy that more. You start to enjoy the patience and kind of the longevity and lifespan of what a plant can be. Um, you know, so many of my plants I got is like tiny one or two leaf cuttings that are now these epic six, eight inch pots of plants um, over the course of three years and that's really cool. So for new plant parents, just keep trading with your friends. Don't feel like you've got to buy and spend all this money on all of these large plants. Like you can start with little cuttings and just trust that they will bloom and grow into your collection. Um, then I have this blue velvet chair, which I'm completely obsessed with. There's a set and I've stolen them from mom, <laughs> Mama Faella. She got them at a like flea market or something and I just think they're so chic and I love how the baby blue contrasts with the wood of the room and the green of the plants and I think the baby blue looks really nice with terracotta as well. As you can see the majority of my plants are in terracotta. Um, and then to my right over here I've got Raffi, my Raffidophora tetrasperma who I love. We just put, we're experimenting with limey so we just put limey under the Soltec light here but I might swap limey and Raffi. And then this Pachura Aquatica money plant was one of the first plants I ever got uh, at the beginning of my plant parenthood. And I'll say it hasn't been an easy road. Um, money plants are a lot more finicky than I realized. This plant has had some good seasons and bad seasons, but it's still trucking and it's actually putting off a little bit of new growth right here. So feeling good about that. I've got snake plants at the bottom. And then this windowsill behind me is... Um, where I have a lot of other small cuttings, small plants that friends have given me. Um, a couple of plants from swaps that I did throughout the quarantine with people I connected with on Instagram, which was really special. The snake plant samurai that Leslie Hallett gave me. Um, some cuttings of Raffi that I'm giving away. And some other special, special cuttings I've got. 
And then just one other thing to note is this is on the second floor of our house. So I have a really beautiful view out the window at treetops, which is cool. You know, growing up or living in New York City, you're so used to just like looking at the street and people on the street. But I've got the green here and then I've got like the second level of green just looking out the window, which is really nice. It's really, it's really super nice. Um, so it's almost like my little jungle tree house up here. And I'll get real with you, plant friends. This year, I, I'm really getting curious about using plants to disconnect from screens in a larger way. That's always been a huge part of my journey. It's why I created Bloom and Grow, because I was starting to use my balcony garden as a way to disconnect from screens in the morning, reconnect with nature, and reconnect with myself through engaging with those herbs and, and growing from there. But, you know, in 2020, with uh, just everything that's happened, the shit show that this year has been, we're all on our screens so much, myself included. I am addicted to TikTok. <laughs> um, it's so easy to just have your screens all the time. So um, I am just like really intentionally trying to figure out how to create more space for myself that's screen free and having a dedicated planty place to write or read or journal or sit. <laughs> like sometimes I'll just sit. I'll just sit and I'll look at these leaves and it feels like I'm wasting my time and it feels, you know, weird and I can get fidgety, but I just take some deep breaths and I sit here and I look at the leaves and like right now I'm seeing under the money tree leaf, like the beautiful pattern of the veins with the light shining through. And it's really nice to just let myself look at it for a little bit, you know? And you guys can <laughs> look at it with me. Um, but I just highly encourage, if you can, if you have the space in your homes, to set up your own restorative environments. Use plants as a way to restore, as a way to disconnect from screens. Um, however you can. And I want to know how you can, so please let me know in the comments below. Because I want to keep learning. I'm really committed to this um, and helping our community achieve this disconnect. If you want to learn more about the restorative environment and the science behind it and different ways to apply it to your life, definitely check out the full podcast episode on restorative environments that I just released this week. It's also linked in the notes below. Thank you so much for being a good plant friend and liking this video and subscribing. And let me know in the comments what you're using as, an, as a restorative environment. And as always, if there's any types of videos that you want to see from me, because I'm here to help us all keep blooming do, do, and keep do, do, growing. Do, 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 do.